my next go at the alcohol ink waterfall technique. Saturate the glass. This is what I'm told I did wrong last time. So it's messy, but what the heck. And then I've got some homemade solutions here. And I'm just supposed to. This is such a pretty aqua. Another homemade alcohol solution with gold mica powder. This, the, this gold solution worked really well last time. I was really happy with it. Um, and I made some, some uh, ink blending solution with alcohol ink and some vegetable glycerin. I'm going to just try it and see how it works and how it differs from just straight alcohol. I don't know if you can hear my little dog barking, but he's mad because I won't let him in the studio. I'm just gonna let it blend and dry so that we add those layers. I really like the look of the layers I feel like right there it's it's drying and I'm almost wondering if I used my heat gun and sort of encouraged those different layers to dry let's try that and shut my door because he is just aggravating drown that out a little bit he's just jealous all right I'm going to use a high heat, maybe. Well, that's already dry. So what if I added a little bit and then just encouraged it to dry? Like that. Okay, I'm getting somewhere. Maybe not so much that. It wasn't wet enough. Whoopsies. It's running everywhere. It actually is kind of cool though. That's really neat. So just a little voice over here. What I learned about applying the blending solution to the, to the alcohol ink is it reactivates the alcohol ink, and then I'm able to use the heat gun to kind of push, um, push it around, and um, it dries in those neat wavy lines. It's kind of like a, almost like a vein in a, in a rock. It's really cool. another little voice over here. So I, I put the blending solution on and then I immediately put in some more of my homemade alcohol mixture with the mica powder and I am so impressed with, um, with this look really. I know it doesn't look like much. There's not a whole lot of color on the glass but the gold and pushing up that, that, um, that blending solution up and forcing the the solution to dry in place um and creating those really cool lines and veins is um is really the look that i'm going for kind of like you know marbling in a piece of quartz or or you know a, a rock like that but um i think 
maybe my next go, I've seen a lot of people will spray paint their glasses white so that there is that definite, um, you know, there's a, that way you're, you're seeing more of the color rather than just kind of a, um, you know, the clear glass, the color just, just doesn't show up as much. So I definitely need to explore that. And look at the difference adding that blue makes. I think this blue, no, I'm sure this blue is the um, KS Resin Liquidy Split Liquid Resin Dye. They have this great line of liquid resin dyes. And I'm using the turquoise, which is my absolute favorite color. And then I'm, I'm adding more of the blending solution to kind of make that reactivate and creating more of the veins. And adding that blue really adds, um, I don't know, it just adds more definition. It's really a good combination with the gold and then the aqua. Um, really, I just love this blue. I can't gush enough about this blue. don't really like those hard drips there um, on that blue so I just am adding just add more of the alcohol or your blending solution or what it is just to reactivate the um, the alcohol ink and it lets you uh, uh, ugh, it allows you to just get really get the look that that you're going for still not liking that that hard drip oops um, Actually, I like that. That's really cool. It looks like wispy clouds, but um, you know, you just there's no right or wrong process for this. You're just I mean, you can't mess it up. Oh, I mean, I guess you could mess it up, like if you um, scratched it somehow with the tip of your heat gun, which has never happened to me ever. And because I always try to make a matching set. I'm going to add the same process, the same color onto the second glass and just see if I can get the two to match as close as possible because I sell these at art shows, at um, local art shows in my area and anything beachy sells really well. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a scratchy throat today. Um, and if I have just one glass in a particular pattern, invariably someone will say, oh, do you have a second one? I'd really like a matching pair. And if I say no, they don't want to buy it. But if I have two that match or closely match, then there's a really, really good chance that they're going to buy both of them. Um, so that's why I always try to have a matching set. And if I make a set of four, there is a really good chance that they will buy all four or I can talk them into it. Um, and, you know, do a little bundle deal and talk them into buying four. So keep that in mind.
So what I'm feeling right here is a little bit of tinkeritis. And if you don't know what that is, it's, uh, it's a real disease. It's called tinkeritis. You need to Google it. No, I'm kidding. Um, you know, tinkeritis, when you, you just can't leave well enough alone and you just keep adding a little bit here and a little bit there. Um, but yeah, I mean, at this point, I'm really happy with the glasses and how they're looking. And um, I probably should have just left well enough alone, but I kept adding. And I mean, it's just adding different layers. I'm not going to mess it up. Um, what I really do like about the gold on top of that turquoise is it sort of, um, and you can see it in a couple of areas, you can see it almost blending together into a really cool green. Um, and I really like that. And I know this footage is long and boring, but I don't want to speed it up because it's just too pretty to look at. And I want, to, I want you to see it in real time that, um, you know, you could fast forward through all of it. It's not going to hurt my feelings at all, but it's just a really pretty process and it's a really easy process. Um, so see here, you can see when, when I reactivate the ink with that blending solution that it is sort of making the two colors, the gold and the blue, blend together and, and reactivating the ink and then sort of um, turning it um, into that emerald, sort of an emeraldy green turquoise. Super pretty. That second glass has a lot of gold on it. I really like that. Um, I really, I just really like the gold. Now this is gold mica powder. This is not gold alcohol ink. And, um, I do like using the gold alcohol ink, but this little solution that I made with isopropyl alcohol and gold mica powder, and then the aqua mica powder too. I did the, the other one with the, the aqua mica powder, but um, it's just maybe like a quarter teaspoon of mica powder in with the, um, the alcohol in a dropper bottle and you just shake it up. And you do need to keep shaking the, the bottle with the alcohol mica powder because the mica powder tends to settle to the bottom. So as you're using it, you want to keep shaking it. See, I told you I have tinkeritis. Just adding a little bit more color. And I think this is the final, final, final tinker. I don't know. But it does. It makes a difference. And, you know, that's, that's what you do. You just keep adding it until you're happy. And um, I just think the blue really adds that little something extra. Adding that blue and adding the, you know, the different layers and different um, textures really makes me feel like um, that was the right thing to do. And I think this is the, the, the finishing piece. I, and I really do think I need to be done now. Like for real, I need to be done, done, done. Stop. I'm not a glitter girl, but I was kind of forced to put glitter on this glass in particular because I forgot to spray it with the clear Rust-Oleum spray to seal in that mica powder. You need to do that if you're using mica powder with alcohol ink because if you grab it like I did off of the turner, you are going to smear it. And I got a big old splotch of it. So, um, and then I've got it all over my hand. So I'm just taking some Aline's clear tacky glue and I'm putting it on the glass, blending the edges. And I end up putting the glitter on both glasses because you know I want a matching set. And I'm just using a piece of parchment paper here to catch the, the excess glitter because you want to save that. And um, that's a really pretty blue. I don't even know what kind of glitter. It might be a Let's Resin glitter. I'm not really sure there's no label on the bottle. But my fan was going, so the glitter's blowing everywhere. My my paper's blowing everywhere. I did turn the, the fan off, but so I'm doing both. I'm doing blue, and then I'm doing some gold. And um, the gold is a really, really fine, kind of a misty, so it just adds a little something extra. And here I am doing the second glass. And um, I'm almost out of that glue, but I like to get every little bit out. And so the second glass didn't really need the glitter, but I want a matching set. So 
I, um, you know, just applying a little bit of glitter in various areas and tap, tap, tap to get the extra off and pouring it back in. So I, <laughs> I'm trying to use all that glitter that fell on the, on the paper there, but, um, just making a matching set. I should have waited for the glue to dry before I did this, but I'm just trying to press in the pieces that the pieces of glitter that are sticking up so it doesn't make my resin bumpy. And I just didn't know better, but I know better now, but it, it didn't really affect it much. I only lost a little bit of glitter. Once the glue is completely dry, you just wanna take and rub with your hand and get off any loose glitter so that you can get ready for resin. I am using KS Resin Liquidy Split. It's a fast set. I did not tape my rims, but I don't take the resin all the way to the top because you can see the color is really uneven at the top. I want a really fluid, kind of a natural edge anyway, like a wave would be. And so I'm not taking the resin all the way to the top. I'm not worried about co covering all of the alcohol ink because I do take alcohol and a towel after this is dry and I'm, I can clean up all of the, the edges that, um, that are not covered with resin. So no worries there. Use a heat gun to pop your bubbles. All right, gonna come back in a couple hours and see what we've got. Okay, let's clean these rims. Get all that, all that resin off of there, alcohol ink. See, I like that, that edge there. And well, this was a good save. Definitely added the little bit of glitter. Turned out really cool. I'm not a big fan of glitter, but um, I think in this case, you know, I had to, I had to add some where I accidentally put my hand in there and smeared it all around. But um, these are really pretty. It's kind of like a, I don't know, freshwater stream is what it reminds me of. Really happy with these. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you learned something new. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and see you next time. Bye.